Hi, I'm Susie from Nail Care Education. Well, I've done it. I've sneezed one too many times and wrecked my eye. But it's not about what I look like, is it? It's about nails. And today we're going to do the Geo Nail. Let's get started. So the Geo Nail is all the rage right now. It's a new design. It really is, I'm sure, just somebody discovered it by taking off gel polish. And when you do it in layers, you notice designs underneath. I actually thought of this a little while ago, but I never got around to doing it. So you do need several layers of polish because when you're filing it off, it reveals the colors underneath. I have applied several layers of polish, gel polish that is, but I have a feeling I've probably applied too much looking for all those really cool layers. So we're gonna do a few layers together just to show you what I was doing. So these are some of the colors that I've chosen. And really it is about the colors. The colors makes a big difference on the outcome. So I just wanna do a thin layer because you do want every layer to cure in between. And of course, the thicker it is, it won't cure properly. I did most of them already because I didn't want to take you through all that. So we're just doing the one finger, but it must be cured between every layer. So we wait. So it really is about the colors, depending on the look that you want. I'm trying to give a contrasting look. My idea in my head was to try to carve out kind of flower shapes. Everybody's kind of doing the geometric shapes, which is really cool. But my original idea was the flowers, and I don't know, maybe the geometric is the best way to go. But I'm gonna try the flowers. And then if it doesn't work, then I'll divert right to the geometric and act like that's what I was planning all along. <laughs> so do nuke it. Ooh, that's pretty. About 30 seconds in between. You can use polish, but you're gonna have to wait for each layer to dry. That's a pain. That's where the advantage of gel polish comes in in this particular design. Okay, I'm gonna put the white against that. The white I find can be a little bit thick. Naturally it wants, because it's so highly pigmented, because it's trying to get that color white. So try not to put this stuff on thick. where I'm going too many colors. Getting a little color greedy, I think. We'll see if I messed it up. And my last being black. You know, I was thinking it would look even kind of neat to just do black and white, black and white, black and white, black and white. It would look really cool. Probably gonna regret that once I start filing. Hopefully the colors will pop up. I think it just depends on the angle. And that's what I'm gonna show you. Okay, now I am gonna top coat it because it'll file better. Just a nice thin layer of no white, oh, minus hair. Now what I wanna show you is the files we're gonna use. Here's a selection of files that I have. And you can see they're all different kind of shapes. And this one, see the angle that it has? If I put it being the surface of the nail here, if I put it on a certain angle, you should be able to reveal the layers of color. Let's try it. I'm just going to switch my bit out and I'm going to use this guy and see if it works. Okay. Yeah, look at those colors appearing. One 
reveal the pink. That's the last color I put down. So if I just want mostly the blue, I could just be a lighter touch. And you can see some of the white appearing. <laughs> this is crazy. So it just depends on the pressure. And of course, pressure is really hard to show you on video. But if I press a little bit harder in the center over here, I'm going to reveal some pink. And if I be over here. That's kind of funky. Okay, so I'm going to do it how they're doing it. I've seen a couple on the internet. And that is they're just literally just kind of going crazy. But in all fairness, I don't think they're using that bit. I'm going to try it with this bit. This is a bit softer. It's going to take the layers not sort of in chunks or big sections of it. It's going to take it a little bit smoother. So I'm creating that little bit more of what they're... That soft... Yeah, there you go. I'll go a little deeper to the blue. And it's revealing the corally color that I had. You know, if you didn't have a file, an E file that is, you could also do it with a hand file. I'll show you that way too. That could be very effective as well to get that geo design. Reminds me of a jawbreaker. Do you remember those jawbreakers way back when? That as you kind of suck on them for a while, they reveal different layers of colors and flavors. Trying to get the centerpiece. There, so you can do it with a hand file too. I have to say, I much prefer the first technique. The flowery one. Yeah, that looks more elegant to me. Yeah, you might be right about that. Oh, I did do another color under the coral and see if I can get it. Maybe it's just too similar to the blue. Hmm. Okay, let me try the flowers again. Oh, and then I brought this one too. See this one? It's like a little ball. Let's see what it does. Different drill bits will give you, obviously, different designs. So this is what the circly one can do. That's actually very effective. You get pretty good control with it. Don't overdo it. It's looking great. <laughs> okay, well, let me try. Oh yeah, I'll show you this one. I have tried this one once before. Now this has got the real flat top. Interesting. I like them that, yeah. I think I might like this the best. You get a little duster. So there you have it. Different drill bits make different designs. I think for me, I think I like this one the best. I don't know what kind of a reveal this is. This is more like just a workshop. <laughs> I hope that's okay. I think those really wide ones are like a mess, but that's... These ones. Yeah, it just looks like worn away paint off a yeah, wall. Yeah, I agree. Now the pinkies are quite a bit smaller, but let me see if I can... Let's 
definitely a technique. I'm not sure I necessarily like it, but this is kind of cool. I don't know if this is too much. There's this color, and I brought this one because some are taking it after, like the ones you don't particularly like, Caramel. They're putting some sparkles in the center of it. If I was to keep these, which I don't know if I'm really liking it, I would top coat it. So let me nuke these. I have to be honest, I don't think this is my favorite design. Well, some people might like it. And maybe I just didn't do it as good. I've never done it before. You might want to practice that. <laughs> now, the question, I'm going to top coat it and see if it looks any better. Well, scattered sparkles actually look better on it. Well, like I say, you add sparkles to anything and it looks kind of cool. Put it on that pointy finger now. That pointy <laughs> finger help. Just put it on everything. No, the pointy <laughs> finger needs help. It's, it just looks like weathered. Well, okay, I'll put it on the... Chip Put paint. the sparkles on the pointy finger, you mean? Something. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not everything is going to be a masterpiece. I think this bad eye just is, like, it's bad luck. Yeah, you probably can't see it correctly out of that eye, can you? <laughs> That's what it is. See, to you, it's looking good. It's, what it's you're doing beautiful. To me, it's like, hmm, I don't know. Not to be too critical. That ship has sailed, I think. <laughs> I think it looks kind of interesting. Well, the sparkles definitely helped. I like it with the sparkles a lot better. But this is kind of, this has kind of potential. Yep. That's interesting. But the main thing is I just wanted to show you the different looks that you can get with certain bits. I mean, look at the tiny little lease you can get with that. Somebody's going to do this amazing. Somebody's going to come up with amazing design. It might not be me today, <laughs> but. <laughs> okay, well, let's move along to another video. Well, let's maybe check out the reveals. I bet you I can make it look good on stills. <laughs> kind of fun. <laughs> Thanks for joining me and I'm looking forward to doing some more videos. See you soon. Hey!